AMG GR3505 motor grader. Operation part. Machine operation. Seat. The driver's seat can be adjusted forwards and backwards, to left and right, realizing backrest angle adjustment, height adjustment, cushion angle adjustment, and weight adjustment. The operator should sit close to the seat back. Adjust the seat so that the operator can step the pedal to bottom. Control console. Adjust the control console to an admissible position. Display Display engine gearbox oil pressure and water temperature. Steering indication Alarm indication Gearbox gear position, etc. Steering wheel Controlling the driving direction by turning it to corresponding direction. Combination switch Controlling the steering, lights, windscreen wiper speed Brake pedal Stepping on the brake pedal to stop the machine The brake pressure depends on the pressure on the brake pedal Accelerator pedal Stepping on the pedal to control engine speed and output power Control switch the control switch is integrated in the cab internal wall to control lights, alarm lights, emergency signals, etc. Operation box Left and right symmetrical arrangement mainly used to install the operation handle and can be adjusted up and down. Control box It is equipped with engine starting switch Automatic air conditioning controller, turbocharger display controller, right control handle, controlling the swing, tilt, and articulation auto return of the blade, tilt control handle, unscrew adjusting handle counterclockwise, adjust the control console to an admissible position, then tighten the control handle. Left control handle, controlling the tilt and steering of front wheel, shift up down, lifting of blade, as well as the manual, automatic switch of gearbox and gear enabling, etc. Front and rear adjustment handle a right operation box. Pull up the adjusting handle, adjust the operation box back and forth to a comfortable position and release the adjusting handle. Up and down adjustment handle of right operation box. Unscrew adjusting handle counterclockwise. Adjust the operation box to an adjustable height. Then tighten the adjustable handle. Front and rear adjustment handle of left operation box. Pull up the adjusting handle. Adjust the operation box back and forth to a comfortable position and release the adjusting handle. Up and down adjustment handle of left operation box. Unscrew adjusting handle counterclockwise. Adjust the operation box to an admissible height. Then tighten the adjustment handle. Engine starting switch. Insert the starting key. Turn to the on position. Turn to start position to start the engine. Full automatic air condition controller. Refrigeration automatic mode. Close the hot water valve in the engine hood. Start the engine. Automatic mode setting switch. Switch on. The temperature indicator and air volume indicator on LCD display. Lights above automatic switch. Air conditioner switch are lit up. 
adjust the temperature switch and set the comfortable temperature. According to the set temperature, the air conditioner automatically switches air volume, air outlet, and internal and external air. Automatic operation to achieve the set temperature. Stop automatic operation. Press off switch. The set temperature indicator and air volume indicator on LCD display. Lights above automatic switch. Air conditioner switch are off. Operation stops. Refrigeration manual mode. Close the hot water valve in the engine hood. Start the engine. Press the fan control switch to adjust the air supply. Confirm the set temperature and air volume by LCD display. Air conditioning switch. The on-off state can be judged by the light status above the switch. Set the appropriate temperature by adjusting the temperature adjustment switch. Set the required air outlet by adjusting the blowing mode switch. Use the internal and external air switch button to select the desired air mode. Stop manual operation. Press off switch. The set temperature indicator and air volume indicator on LCD display. Lights above air conditioner switch are off. Operation stops. Heating. Open the hot water valve in the engine hood. Start the engine. Press AC button. The refrigeration indicator goes off. The refrigeration system stop working. Air volume button. Temperature button. Press the mood button successively to change the outlet. Or press auto button to select outlet automatically. Press the button of inner and outer circulation outlet as needed to select inner and outer circulation outlet. Press the off button to stop the air conditioning system. Note: Close the hot water valve when using the cooling function, and only open the valve when using the heating function. Turbocharger display controller. Display control of switching off the engine. Handle enabling. Hold the left and right handle respectively. The handle can be enabled through capacitive induction. Manipulating the left and right handles to achieve various movements. Steering enabling. Pressing the steering enabling button on the left side control handle while swing the left handle to the left or right. The machine turns to the left or right. Front wheel tilt to left. Press the front wheel left tilt button on the left side control handle. The front wheel tilts to the left. Release the switch. The front wheel stays in the selected position. The front wheel tilt to right. Press the front wheel right tilt button on the left side control handle. The front wheel tilts to the right. Release the switch. The front wheel stays in the selected position. Shift up. Press the switch to the left control handle to shift up the gearbox to the required forward or backward gear. Articulation steering. Turn the switch of the left control handle to left. The rear part of the machine moves to left. Release the switch. The machine articulation will stay in the selected position. Turn the switch of the left control handle to right. The rear part of the machine moves to right. Release the switch. The machine articulation will stay in the selected position. Manual automatic shift switch. 
Complete the manual automatic switch button on the left control handle. The gearbox will be switched between the manual shift and automatic shift. Gear enabling. Press and hold the gear enabling button on the left control handle. With the gearbox steering, realizing the selection of the forward and backward gear. Shift down. Press and hold the gear enabling button on the left control handle. Click on the switch on the left control handle to shift up the gearbox to the required forward or backward gear. Gearbox direction shift. Turn the gearbox shift switch upward. The gearbox shift to F forward direction. The default is automatic forward gear two. Use the gear button to increase and decrease gears. Obtaining the manual shift, or use the automatic gear shift function. Turn the gearbox shift switch downward. The gearbox shift to R forward direction. The default is automatic forward gear two. Use the gear button to increase and decrease gears. Obtaining the manual shift. Or use the automatic gear shift function. The gearbox shift switch returns to neutral position. Blade to left. Press the blade left button on the right control handle to move the traction frame to the left. Release the button, and the traction frame will remain in the selected position. Blade the right. Press the blade right button on the right control handle to move the traction frame to the right. Release the button, and the traction frame will remain in the selected position. Articulation back to neutral. Articulation back to neutral. Press the return button on the right control handle, and the articulation slowly moves the machine to the central position. Blade elevation. Blade elevation forward. Turn the blade elevation switch upward on the right control handle. The blade tilts forward. Release the switch. The blade stays in the selected position. Blade elevation. Blade elevation backward. Turn the blade elevation switch downward on the right control handle. The blade tilts backward. Release the switch. The blade stays in the selected position. Accelerator automatic mode. Press this button, and the engine accelerator is in automatic mode. The accelerator is similar to cruise control. Blade rotary. Blade rotary clockwise. Turn the blade rotary switch to right. On the right control handle, the blade rotates clockwise. Release the switch. The blade stays in the selected position. Blade rotary. Blade rotary anti-clockwise. Turn the blade rotary switch to left on the right control handle. The blade rotates anti-clockwise. Release the switch. The blade stays in the selected position. Accelerator recovery, deceleration. In auto mode, press the accelerator recovery, deceleration button to restore the engine speed to the set engine speed. The button has recovery function after the brake or accelerator pedal is stepped. After the engine speed is set. The engine speed can be reduced by pressing or holding the throttle recovery deceleration button. Accelerator setting, accelerating. In auto mode, press the accelerator setting, accelerate button to maintain the engine speed at the desired engine speed by pressing the accelerator pedal to reach the desired engine speed. At the same time. Click or long press this button to increase engine speed. Front wheel turn left. Move the left control handle to the left to make the front wheel turn left. Release the handle in the required position, 
and the front wheel will remain in the selected position. Front wheel turn right. Push the left control handle to the left to make the front wheel turn right. Release the handle in the required position, and the front wheel will remain in the selected position. Blade left down. Push the left control handle forward to lower the left end of the blade. Release the handle in the required position, and the blade will remain in the selected position. Blade left up. Hold the left control handle backward to lift the left end of the blade. Release the handle in the required position, and the blade will remain in the selected position. Blade side shift to left. Move the right control handle to left. The left end of the blade stretches out. Release the handle in the required position, and the blade will remain in the selected position. Blade side shift to right. Move the right control handle to right. The right end of the blade stretches out. Release the handle in the required position, and the blade will remain in the selected position. Blade right down. Push the right control handle forward to lower the right end of the blade. Release the handle in the required position, and the blade will remain in the selected position. Blade right up. Pull the left control handle backward to lift the right end of the blade. Release the handle in the required position, and the blade will remain in the selected position. Switches. Fan reverse switch. Blade floating switch. Press the switch, and the blade is working in a floating state. Overload protection switch. Press the switch. The blade lift oil cylinder will generate a thrust to prevent the hard object from hitting the blade, which is used in conjunction with the floating switch. Headlights. Press the switch, and four corridor lights. Headlights on the back and upper side of the cap light on. Hydraulic interlock switch. The switch has the mechanical lock catch. Press the switch. Release the hydraulic action lock function. Can carry on the related hydraulic action. Rear hood working light switch. Press the switch, and the left and right side of the rear hood will light up. Front working light switch. Press the switch. Two working lights on the front frame and four lights on the bottom of the cab light up. Dipped headlight switch. Press the switch. The front dipped headlight at the front end is on. Flood light switch. Press the switch. The headlights on full beam at the front frame lights on. Parking switch. The switch with mechanical lock. Press the switch. The transmission brake disc hold the depth. The vehicle function. Engine flame out switch. Press the switch, and the engine will stall immediately. Emergency steering manual switch. Press the switch. Start the emergency steering system function. Consume large amounts of electricity due to the emergency steering function. Therefore, the switch, please carefully use, only can be used in the automatic emergency steering failure. Cap light switch. Press the upper end of the switch. The four working lights on the upper front of the bridge are bright. Press the lower end of the switch. And the four working lights on the back end of the cab are on. Rotary beacon switch. Press the switch and the rotary beacon above the cab. Emergency light switch. Press the switch. The left and right turn signals on the front rack and back of the hood sparkle. 
centralized lubrication switch. Press the switch, and the machine central lubrication system begins to work automatically. Emergency stop button. Press the button. The engine will be out of fire immediately, and power will be off after 30 seconds. Battery disconnect switch. Red is used to disconnect the battery from the electrical system of the machine. Battery disconnect switch indicator. Battery isolating switch indicator light is lit when the battery disconnect switch is closed. Start circuit brake switch. Yellow used to disconnect the power resource to start the circuit. Star circuit brake switch indicator. When the star circuit brake switch is closed, the star circuit brake switch indicator is lit. Repair lamp toggle switch. Lift the new switch up, and the maintenance light on the inner side of the bridge. Battery charging device. When the battery loses power, it can charge the battery through the device. Emergency stop button. Press the button. The engine will be out of fire immediately, and power will be off after 30 seconds. Supercharger switch. Turn the button to on position. The cab supercharger starts to work. In off position, the supercharger stops working. Indicator light in instrument. Parking brake indicator light. Press the parking button. The grater is in the parking brake state, and the indicator light is on. Charging indicator. When the key is switched on and the engine is now started, the indicator is on. The lamp went out about one minute after the engine started. Indicates that the battery is in charge. Centralized lubrication indicator. The indicator lights up when the centralized lubrication system works. Left steering indicator lamp. Turn the steering switch to left when the indicator light is on. Preheat indicator. This indicator is lit to indicate that the engine's inlet preheater is switched on. Stop indicator. The indicator light is lit. Indicating that the engine is shut down. Hydraulic interlock indicator. The hydraulic blocking indicator light is lit, indicating that the hydraulic control system is locked. Fault alarm indicator. The indicator light is on, indicating that the machine is out of order. Gearbox fault alarm indicator. The indicator light is on. Indicating that the gearbox is out of order. Stop for check. Time and date display. Coolant temperature. Measurement range of zero to one hundred twenty degrees Celsius. Indicating the engine cooling water temperature. Oil pressure meter. Measuring range zero to ten bar. Indicating engine oil pressure. Working hermeter. Indicating the engine total working hours, age. Tachometer, measuring range zero to three thousand RPM. Indicating the rotation speed of the engine. Gearbox oil thermometer, measuring range zero to one hundred eighty degrees Celsius. Indicating the gearbox oil temperature. Gearbox oil pressure gauge. Measuring range zero to twenty-five bar, indicating the gearbox oil pressure. Speedometer, measuring range zero to sixty kilometers an hour, display the machine speed. Fuel level gauge, measuring range zero to one hundred percent, indicating the fuel level in diesel tank. Low fuel level indicator, the indicator light is on. When the fuel level is lower than 12.5 percent, millimeter 
accumulatively display the travel mileage. Angle indicator. Display current articulation angle of frame. Gear indicator. Display the current gear position of the gearbox. Engine fault alarm indicator. The indicator light is on, indicating that the engine is out of order. Stop for check. Liquid level alarm light. When the liquid level of the coolant is low, the alarm light is on. Brake pressure indicator light. After the engine starts, the indicator lights up and goes out after one minute. If the indicator light is on when the machine is working, it indicates that the hydraulic braking system is faulty and needs to be stopped for inspection. Right steering indication. Turn the steering switch to right when the indicator light is on. Emergency steering indicator. The indicator light is lit when emergency steering system starts. Oil temperature alarm indicator. Indicating high hydraulic oil temperature. Stop for check. High beam indicator. The indicator is on when the combination switch is turned to the high beam position. Fault query key. Press the button to enter the query interface. Interface setting key. Query interface button. Press this button to enter the query interface. Query interface key. Enter the query interface by pressing the key. No beep key. Press this button to turn off the backup buzzer. Oil level alarm indicator. Gearbox oil level is low. Stop for inspection. Steering Enabling Indicator Press the Steering Enabling Indicator button on the left control handle. The indicator light is on. CAN Alarm Light If the indicator light is on when the machine is working, indicating that the CAN bus has faults, shall stop the machine for check. Start of the engine Adjust driver seat. Adjust the height in front and rear position of the control handle box. Fasten the seat belt. Check the condition of the seat belt and seat belt fasteners. Check for any spectators and maintenance personnel to ensure that all personnel are away from the machine. Shortly press the horn. Engage the parking brake. Put the gearbox control switch on the left handle in neutral position. Turn the key switch on the control box to on position, and all indicator lights and meters start circulating. After the meters stop moving, the system check is completed. Turn the key switch to start position. Connect the start motor. The engine starts. Note. Start the engine only after the engine preheat indicator is off. This light indicates that the engine intake heater is connected. After the engine starts, release the key switch immediately, and the switch will automatically reset to on position. After starting, keep the engine idling for 3 minutes. Pay close attention to the indications of the instrument. If no abnormalities and brake indicator light is out, can release the parking brake, ready to drive. Engine and machine preheating. Always run the engine at a low idle speed for at least 10 minutes before performing any operation in cold conditions. Driving. Starting. Lift the blade and rotate it into the vehicle body. Release the parking brake. Press and hold the enable button on the left handle. And then turn the rocker switch on the left handle to select forward backward state. 
The machine is in automatic gear shifting mode by default. To change the gear manually, click the gearbox manual automatic switch button on the left handle to switch to manual gear shifting. Press the accelerator pedal down slowly so that the machine moves forward or backwards slowly. Manual automatic gear shifting. Click the manual automatic switch button on the left control handle. The gearbox will be switched between manual shift and automatic shift. Shifting manual gear shift. Click the gearbox manual automatic switch button on the left handle to switch to manual gear shifting. Press and hold the enable button on the left handle and then turn the rocker switch F and R on the left handle to select forward, neutral, backward state. Click gear plus on the left handle to shift the gearbox up to the required forward or backward gear. Click gear minus on the left handle to shift the gearbox down to the required forward or backward gear. Click gear plus or minus on the left handle to shift the gearbox up to the required forward or backward gear during driving. Click the gearbox manual automatic switch button on the left handle to switch to automatic gear shifting. Speed change and gear shift should be carried out in turn. Applicable ranges are as follows. Gear 1, 2. Leveling operation for large conditions such as uneven pavement and large shoveling amount. Slope climbing. Gear 3, 4. Fine leveling. Surface dust and snow. Transition on uneven road. Gear 5, 6. Drive in high speed. When shifting gear, acceleration is forbidden to avoid over impact on the transmission system. In order to improve the driver's comfort and maximum, extend the life of the power components. Make sure to slow down or brake when steering. When shifting gear during driving, shall release the accelerator while control the speed lever for changing from low speed to high speed. Then step on the accelerator. If changing from high speed to low speed, shall release the accelerator first. Then reduce the speed for gear shift. Steering. The steering can be realized by steering wheel, steering control handle, and articulated steering. Steering wheel. Turn the steering wheel to the direction to be changed when driving so that the front wheel swings to left or right. Steering control handle. Press the steering enabling switch in front of the left handle during operation and swing the handle left or right to make the front wheel swing left or right to turn the machine. When the vehicle speed is over 13 km an hour, do not use the steering handle to steer. Shall always use the steering wheel to steer. Articulated steering. Push and pull the articulation switch of the left handle to the left or right. Then, the rear part of the machine moves to the left or right. Release the articulation switch. The machine articulation will stay in the selected position. When steering a narrow side, the articulation steering can be used together. Emergency steering. This machine is equipped with an emergency steering system. When the steering system fails, the machine will automatically start the emergency steering function, and the steering system and emergency steering indicator light will be on. Automatic Alignment Control Press the Articulation Central Alignment button on the right handle to return the machine to the middle position. The machine articulation will slowly move the machine to the middle position. Braking. Release the accelerator pedal and press the brake pedal to stop the machine. 
Do not put your foot on the brake pedal during normal driving unless absolutely necessary. Don't repeatedly step on the pedal unless necessary. When traveling downhill, use the engine as a brake. Never shift gear or latch the gearbox in neutral. Blade adjustment. According to the indicator on the control console, operate each control handle respectively to adjust the blade to various work conditions for different working conditions. Parking. Downtime. Release the accelerator pedal. Press and hold the enable button on the left handle. Turn the rocker switch on the left handle to neutral position. Step the brake pedal to stop the vehicle safely. Lower the blade down to the ground. Park the machine on the flat road surface without risks of falling stones, landslip, or flood. If parking the machine on the slope, shall use the wedge to prevent the wheel from moving. Press the parking brake button. The parking brake is applied. In case of emergency, switch off the engine quickly and press the E stop button. Stop the engine. Don't switch off the engine immediately after stopping the machine. Better make the engine idling for five minutes until cooling down. Turn the engine starting key switch to the off position. Switch off the engine and remove the key. Turn the motor disconnect switch and battery disconnect switch to the off position. Lower the working device when the engine stops. If the engine is unable to work, lower the working device to the ground by pressing the blade floating button. Leave the motor greater. Use ladder and handrail when getting off and face the greater. Do not jump off. Check the engine for debris accumulation and remove immediately to prevent fire. Remove all flammable substances around the vehicle to prevent the occurrence of fire. Lock the doors, windows, and side doors and take the keys away. Machine Maintenance Maintenance Interval Products that work under harsh conditions may require more frequent maintenance. All maintenance of the previous cycle must be performed before maintenance of each subsequent cycle. Every 10 operating hours or every day. Reverse alarm, test, brake, indicator light and instrument, test, rotary disc drive, small gear tube lubrication, liquid level of cooling system for cooling system, check, engine oil level, check, oil and water separator in fuel system, drainage, seat belt, check, transmission and differential oil level, check, First 100 operating hours. Gearbox oil replacement. Gearbox filter replacement. Every 100 operating hours or every two weeks. Frame articulated bearing lubrication. Front axle bearing, lubrication. Bearing a working device, lubrication. Ball rolling disc, lubrication. Swing frame, lubrication. Swing bolt, lubrication. Rear axle bearing, lubrication. 
Blade lifting cylinder ball hinge clearance. Lubrication. Clearance of the ball hinge of the tilting oil cylinder of the traction frame. Lubrication. Clearance of ball head and support clearance of traction frame. Lubrication. Pressurized air filter in cab. Cleaning. Replacement. Water and sediment in the fuel tank. Discharging. Hydraulic oil level. Check. Rear axle oil level. Check. Balance tank oil level. Check. Engine oil consumption. Check. Tire inflating volume. Detection. Belt. Check. First 250 operating hours. Engine valve clearance. Inspection. Implementing every 250 hours maintenance. Every 250 operating hours. Fuel filter element. Replacement. Oil water separator filter element. Replacement. Engine oil filter element. Replacement. Air filter element. Cleaning. Replacement. Coolant filter element. Replacement. Air conditioner internal circulation filter element. Replacement. Engine oil. Sampling. Transmission oil. Sampling. Hydraulic oil. Sampling. Coolant. Sampling. First 500 operating hours. Battery or battery cable. Check. Replace. Injection pump. Check. Adjust. Rear axle oil. Sampling and replacement. Every 500 hours maintenance implementation. Every 500 operating hours or quarterly. Braking system. Test. Engine oil. Replacement. Engine stop. Switch on, off. Fuel tank cover and strainer. Cleaning. Rear axle oil. Sampling. Gearbox filter. Replacement. Every 1,000 operating hours or every 6 months. Gearbox oil. Replacement. Brake circuit accumulator. Detection. Blade buffer accumulator. Detection. ROPS. Check. Cap supercharger filter element. Cleaning. Replacement. Every 2,000 operating hours or every year. Engine valve clearance. Inspection. Hydraulic oil. Replacement. Hydraulic oil suction and return filter element. Replacement. Hydraulic oil return filter element. Replacement. Rear axle oil. Replacement. Worm gearbox gear oil. Replacement. Yearly maintenance. Cooling liquid sample. Sampling. Air filter element. Cleaning. Replacement. Cap and supercharger filter. Cleaning. Replacement. Every three years. Seat belt. Check. Every 4,000 working hours. Steering system pipeline. Check. Replacement. Every 4,000 operating hours or every two years. Hydraulic oil. Replacement. Every 6,000 operating hours or every three years. Cooling fluid. 
edition. Every 12,000 operating hours or every six years. Cooling fluid replacement. Note, according to the use environment of the machine, such as high temperature, high humidity, low temperature, multi dust, high altitude, etc., make appropriate adjustments to the time and content of regular inspection and maintenance.